we're getting into the hard stuff now. Most people call this hard and it's because it's so different. We went over this a little bit on Wednesday just to help you prepare psychologically. Um, looked at, for instance, the graph of y equals 2 to the x and at its um, inverse y equals log base 2 to the x. Well, we're going to talk about that today. So what we start off doing on your homework is converting converting between exponential functions and logarithmic functions and between logarithmic functions and exponential functions. And here you see a typical, you know, the formula for an exponential function right here where A is a number, okay, raised to the X power. And then going over to its logarithm which is exactly equivalent, okay? Just finds different things. And the reason we need to be able to do both simultaneously is that exponential functions grow so fast. It's very, very difficult to get any kind of accurate measurement out of them. So we switch to the matching logarithm, which grows at a much more slow rate. Typically the growth of diseases. You may have watched this during the first uh, weeks or months of COVID. Uh, the daily reports would show a graph of the growing number of cases of COVID in the United States. Well, that was logarithmic or a derivative of a logarithmic, not a derivative like in calculus, but something derived from that, called a logistical function. Okay, so let's look at how you go about getting the inverse function of an exponential function. Here you have the formula for an exponential function, y equals a number raised to the x power. Now, x here is the exponent, and what holds up the exponent is the base. And then I just call this the other, because you're going to be seeing that um, um, when we're actually doing logarithmic equations, you've got a base and, and exponential functions, exponential equations. We've got a number raised to a power, and then we've got another number. What do you call it? Well, I call it the other. And I pretty well stick to that throughout all of this homework and the next. All right, so um, you know that to find the inverse function of any function, you switch the X and the Y. Now y is the exponent, a is the base still because it's just the number, and x is now in the position of the other. So you switch the x and the y as part of finding the inverse function of a one-to-one -one function. And we talked a lot on Wednesday about how exponential functions are one-to-one -one functions, so they have inverses. Now it took hundreds of years and an accident to be able to find the something more than x equals a to the y. Mathematicians just were not able to find the inverse function of an exponential function until it was found accidentally by a Scottish mathematician. The inverse function of this taken from x equals a to the y is that y, the exponent, equals log, L-O-G, base a, there's the a, it's the base, of what now, rather than being the other, is called the argument. So the other number is put in here. 
So log base A of X equals Y, where Y, this number, is always the exponent. Logarithms are exponents. You need to say that to yourself over and over again. So here's your first homework problem with my notes. 1024 raised to the one fifth power equals four. What we're supposed to do is not say, is that true or false? It's true. But instead, convert it to a logarithmic function. How would you say this in logarithms? So you have to look at the parts. One fifth is the exponent. 1024 is the base holding up the exponent. And then there's this other number. To change this to a logarithmic function, we take the base 1024, put it down here beside the lower part of the G. You take the other number and put it in here, where now it's called the argument. So let's say argument, arg, and here's the base. And this, this number over here is always the exponent. That seems hard at first, but then it gets easier. We can go the other way also. We can go from log base A of X equals Y over here, back here. Why? Because these are exactly equivalent. You can always go back and forth between exponential functions and logarithmic functions, exponential equations and logarithmic equations. Here's the second, this is number two in your homework. We're supposed to change log base three of 243 equals five to the matching exponential function. So we're going back this way. It helps to label. This number down here is always the base. This number in here, when I was a kid, you had to put it in parentheses. You had credit taken off if you didn't put it in parentheses. Now they don't. What do I know? Okay, anyway, this number though is called the argument, which is also it's going to translate into the other number. This is the exponent. So when we change it to its matching exponential function, here's the exponent, here's the base, Here's the argument. The argument goes here. Or you can call it the other. All right, now you've got like, I don't know, eight homework problems that are all like this. And we're going to do them all because you're very new at this. Most of you are. And if you've had the class before, it's probably been a while. 
So here's number three over here, or actually at some point I started skipping problems that were exactly like other problems, but I think this is still number three. And up here, this is number one. Here's the problem. We're going to convert this to a logarithmic equation. It's like translating languages. Here's the base, here's the exponent. The base always holds up the exponent. I'm going to say that over and over again to help you remember it. So base. Exponent. And then there's that other number. That's just because I don't have a name for it. The other number becomes the argument over here. The base goes down there. And on the other side of the equal sign, that's where the exponent goes. And the way you say this is log base 10 of 100,000 equals 5. Only There is a little trick here. It's not a trick. What should I call it? A little warp, maybe, in the translation. Because we live in a base 10 number system, log base 10 is used almost all the time. And for that reason, very early on, it was decided to just drop the base. So actually the way that you would write this would be log 100,000. And in your calculator, you don't put the parenthesis. Equals five. And when you don't see a base, when there is no base down there, the base is 10. It's this log right here. We can even do this problem over here. The log the word log is log base 10. The log on your calculator is log base 10. The log of 100,000, so 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, close parentheses, enter, is 5. It's a very true statement. Now, number four, this one, whenever you have E, E is a number, remember, that's about 2.7, like pi is about 3.14. It's a universal constant, just like pi is. After four, I started skipping the repetitions, or not all of them, but some of them. E to the negative five power. Okay, E, the number E to the negative five power equals P, whatever P is. Okay, let's write out what this stuff is. This is the base, whatever holds up the exponent is the base. This is the exponent. And for lack of a better word, 
This is the other. To translate this into a logarithmic equation, first you do this. The base goes down here. The exponent, negative five, goes over here. And the other goes here and becomes what we call the argument of the function, the logarithm function. But this is another case like this. Log base E is used in the sciences all the time. You'll see that on the very last day of class. Well, the last day of doing new material. Because of that, and because log was already taken, someone decided to call this the LN, the natural log. So log base E is LN. So log base E of P is going to be the LN of P equals negative five. You're gonna to have to remember both of those. You have a calculator to help you. Here is LN. Right above LN, you see e to the x, <clears throat> e to the x. So that helps you remember, right above the log key, you have 10 to the x. So this helps you remember. Log is really log base 10. LN is really log base E. Best I can do to help you remember. But right now is the perfect place to make a note. Let's make it in red, red-ish. Not red because a lot of people can't see red. So this has, has blue in it, which makes it kind of reddish purple. Okay, um, the word log is called the common logarithm. The word LN, I guess you call it a word, is called the natural logarithm. You're going to see that we use it repeatedly when we're talking about the growth of populations and the growth of money. Imagine that. It just comes up automatically. Nobody invented E, it was always here. Nobody invented pi, it was always here. Pi and E and some other, other universal constants were discovered they weren't made by people. Okay. So now here we go again. We have log of 0 0.01, and I'm not sure what number that is now. The log of 0 0.01 Oh, what about the base? 
you have to know that if you don't see a base here, the base is 10. Oh, I like that. We'll put 10 down here. That's the base. Right? That's the base. This is the argument, arg. This is the exponent. In fact, if you're interested, this is the exponent that the base is raised to to get that answer. As you can see when we come over here, the base 10 raised to the negative two will give you on the calculator 0 0.01. Yep. Okay, now, here we have to convert the ln of 23 equals 3.1355. This is what I personally do. I change this to log base E of 23 equals 3.1355, where I can actually see the base. I can see the argument. Of course, I could anyway. And I can see the exponent. So that this goes right into this. Here's the base, here's the exponent, the argument becomes the other. So base. Exponent other. All right. Now, let me make this a little smaller. This is the first task in the homework. Do you want to discuss it? You're going to have to work at this. You're having to memorize very alien things. It's like somebody put you down on Mars and you discover tablets written in another language. I have a question. Sure. So whenever we converted the last uh, problem mm -hmm. and it says LN, we didn't use 10 as the, let me see here, as the exponential, so. You mean the base? Yeah, the base, sorry. So no problem. do we ever have to use 10 as a base in, when it's LN or only for no. one? Only for log. For LN, the base is E. Oh, okay. And, um, and E whenever, is a number. So whenever it's log, it's always be 10, not, never a different number, right? That's correct. Okay. If it is a different number, it'll be, um, it'll be written that way. Alrighty, thank like you. log base 3 is log base 3. Log base 1024 is log base 1024. But just log is log base 10 and just ln is log base e. Yes. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, that's an awesome question. Good, more. Okay, we move on. 
to something more applied. We're going to use a calculator. <gasps> Imagine. Log base 5 of 12, it says round to four decimal places. <clears throat> okay. There's a way that everybody can do it, and then there's a way that, that some people can do it, depending on the kind of calculator. We'll go over both. Log base 5 of 12 equals. Well, you can't just use the log button and you can't just use the LN button because you need a specific base. But there's a way around that called the change of base formula. The cob, C, O, B, corn on the cob. Here it is. Well, I guess I should write that in black. So let's do that first. Let's erase it. I think black is easier to see. Log 12, in other words, log base 10 of 12 divided by log base 10 of 5. In other words, I change to base 10. Log 12 divided by log 5. Let's do it over here. Log 12. You must close the parentheses or you won't get the right answer. Divided by log Five. Uh, uh, that's a two. Log five and close the parentheses. So this is what you want. You hit enter. And there's your answer. We'll give it a minute here. We're going to have to round this, but I wanted to put the whole answer over here. There. Okay. Log 12 over log 5 is that number, and we're supposed to round to four decimal places. So one, two, three, four. I look over here at the fifth decimal place, and I see that this five will cause the nine to go up to a 10. So our answer is going to be 1.54. 39 will go up to 40. Five, four, instead of three, nine, you're gonna have four, zero. And so that is your answer. It's also true that you can change to any base. So if you take the LN, of 12 over the LN of 5, you will get the same answer. Let's do it real fast. The LN of 12, close parentheses, divided by the LN of 5, close parentheses. Same exact number. 
Now, you're about to think that log 12 equals ln 12 and log 5 equals ln 5, but that's not true. Just watch. Log 12 is that number right there. Now I'm going to take the ln of 12. No, that's 15, I want 12. There you go. Close parentheses. The ln of 12 is an entirely different number. Same thing is true for log five. It's important that we take the time for you to see this. Log five, enter is that number. Log, yeah, yeah, log five, and now we're gonna do ln five. Ln five. Entirely different number. So log 12 does not equal ln 12. Log five does not equal ln five. However, the ratios, the fraction answer, are equal. Isn't that amazing? I think it's amazing. You can try it yourself at home, but not unsupervised. Okay, so I'm gonna make a note of that also written in math ease because it takes less room, that log 12 does not equal ln 12. And log 5 does not equal the ln of 5. It's an easy mistake to make, but you don't want to make it on the final. Yeah. Okay. So now, everybody can do the change of base formula. And there are some more homework problems where we'll use the change of base formula. I tend to not use LN for that. That's just a personal preference. I could if I wanted to. I use LN for science problems, as you'll see. Okay, um, now, for the uh, newer operating system, click the math button. Now come all the way down past the numbers to A, and there you see the word log base. All right, log base. L O G B A S E, and that's at A colon on the math menu in your calculator. I'm going to click enter. See what it has. It has a little box for you to put the base and a little box for you to put the argument. So log base five of 12, I could write this way, log base five of 12, enter. And it's that same number right there. The same number we got for log 12 over log 5 or ln 12 over ln 5. So if you've got it, feel free to use it, but you don't need it because you've got the change of base formula. And I'm go going to use the change of base formula for these other two homework problems. Okay, log base four of 40 round to four decimal places. So I'm going to say 
log 40, you take the, the, the argument and then you take the base. The log, which is log base 10 of 40, over log four. That's the base. So this is the argument, this is the base. Arg. And base. And what does that equal? Well, let's find out. Log 40, close the parentheses, divided by log four, close the parentheses, enter. Okay. So we have 2.660964047, and actually it's the decimal, what's called the decimal expansion goes on forever, as far as we know. All right, here's the whole number part. Here's the decimal part, one, two, three, four. And then the fifth decimal place is a six, which again will cause the nine to go up to a 10, but there's a zero here in the third decimal place. So that allows me to write a 10 there. So my answer is going to be 2.6610. And that's the answer. log 40 over log 4. Change of base formula. And finally, log, log base 3 of 0 0.13. So I'll write that as <laughs> again. Log 0 0.13 divided by log 3. Now, that's how I was taught to do it. That's how your calculator requires it. However, the book does not always use parentheses. Just like I didn't use parentheses here. My algebra teacher would have given me points off. But that's life. OK. Here we go. Clear. Log 0 0.13. No. Do it again. Log zero point zero point thirteen close parentheses divided by log three close parentheses. Enter. And here's my answer. Negative. Want it to be as clear as possible. Okay. Negative 
and you don't know if the nine is really there because your calculator rounds so it can fit the decimal part in here. So, and you know, really, really, ah! Okay, I'll be good. Er, good er. I'll, I'll show you what I was going to do in a minute. Again, we round to four decimal places, right? Yes, okay. So, here's one, two, three, four, and the fifth decimal place, eight, will cause this zero to go up to a one. So our answer is going to be negative one, 0.8571. The point I was so brilliantly going to make is that any, well, of course, this is a rounded answer that you get out of your calculator anyway, and then I'm rounding it again, okay? So it's more appropriate to put double squiggles, which means it's an approximation. So I'm gonna go back and do that. Double squiggles, double squiggles, double squiggles, double squiggles, means about. Or approximately. Okay. 